Was there a difference of living in a hyper-stimulated world, like we're killing our brain cells because we're overstimulated, but creating stimulated environments that aren't overstimulating us? Yeah, it's a really important question. I think it comes down to what these stimuli really are, then the downstream changes they create. What we're doing less of is engaging with the real world in real life, learning complex skills with real people. That's what really drives these sort of big changes in the brain. And what we're doing more of is just continuous, low-level task switching distraction. And so the stimuli that we have are much less complex, but they also never stop. And so one really critical part of stimulating your brain is that you need then time to recover and adapt afterwards. I think that the right type of cognitive stimulus is probably the most underrated tool for maintaining or building brain health. But it doesn't work unless you sleep and take time to rest and recover afterwards because that's when the adaptation happens.